honestly have no idea, but I'm sure you're going to tell me, bro. But did you just call me bro? Yeah, bro. Don't you think that's a little unprofessional since you've been working here not two really. weeks and I'm your boss? No. Not okay. Really. All right. Well, uh, that's a perfect segue, actually, to why I called you into my office today. Um, I've been hearing some recent reports, and frankly, I'm very concerned. What do you mean? What kind of reports? Well, I have some recounts here of what happened on back to school night. I honestly have no idea what you're referring to. Okay. Well, um, is it true that you're talking to Mrs. Danbury and stated she, and I quote, has a nice rack? <laughs> I mean, it is very true. She has a nice rack. So no, I don't deny saying that. <laughs> okay, um, is it true then when Mr. Danbury came and said, and I quote, hey, that's my wife, you responded with, and I quote, damn, you must be hella rich then. There was a fist fight <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is uh, like he kind of started the fight, so uh, I don't see how to blame there. Okay, um, so you don't deny any of this? No, I don't deny any of this. Okay. Um, is it true that on Wellness Day, instead of bringing in teddy bears for your students, you brought in real live bear hugs? Uh, yes, I would certainly do, do that. Can I ask why? Because it's fucking rad, bro. And the bear hug was so fucking cute. Was it cute when it bit one of your students and sent her to the hospital? Because now we have a lawsuit, Mr. Smith, and I don't find that cute, like, at all. Uh, well, I don't see what the big deal is. You're one of your students got rabies, and uh, I don't find that cute at all. We have a lawsuit on our hands. Uh, first of all, um, rabies isn't real. <laughs> <laughs> Even if rabies was real, hypothetically, um, there's a vaccine for it. So, uh, no, in conclusion, there's no way that she got rabies. Um, the hospital report said otherwise, but I'm pleased to know you as an educator believe in vaccines. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I have heard that she's called a student in red. I Okay, first of all, who the fuck snitched? That's <laughs> <laughs> so it was probably inbred, not inbred. And um, if you saw the parents on back to school night, you would totally believe what I'm saying. Okay, um, is it true you showed your stu student Schindler's list last Tuesday? Oh. <laughs> yes, yes, um, I was teaching you about tragedy in their English class. And if you're about to tell me that Schindler's list is not a tragic film, then I'm going to see you. I was going to say your students are seven, and that movie's great all. <laughs> okay, bullshit. Timmy turned eight last week. We celebrated his birthday during snack time. What else you got? Okay, well, what else I got here is a two-pound bag of cocaine. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> what do you have to say about that? Oh, I see what this is about. Um, look, I won't tell if you won't. And you can just, like, move some of the books off this desk, and then it's just... What? No, no. Mr. Smith, what I was going to say is that you're fired, and we called the cops before this even began, and they're here to arrest you. I am very sorry, Mr. Smith, but you are clearly very ill, and I truly hope you get hurt. But bro, I thought we were friends. I thought we were friends. Man, fuck you. Oh, oh.